Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. By default, when you type text into a placeholder, a bullet is placed at the beginning of each paragraph. Now, this automatically creates a bulleted list. If you want, you can modify a list by choosing a different bullet style or by switching to a numbered list. Now, to modify a bullet style, so I'll go here. So, as you can see, I have a bullet uh, list over here. So first select the existing list that you want to format. Then under home tab, go to the bullets command and click the drop down arrow. Then from here, select the desired bullet style that you want from this menu. So if I select this one, the bullet style will appear in the list. Again, to modify a numbered list, so I'll come over here, have a, number li a numbered list over here. So select the list. Then under home tab, come to the numbering command, click the drop down arrow. Then again, select the desired numbering option from the menu that appears and the numbering style will appear in the list. Now by default, numbered lists count from number one. However, sometimes you may want to start counting from a different number, like if the list is a continuation of something. So I'll undo this. Now I want this to be a continuation of this so i want it to be one two then three four five now this is what you do you select the list that you want to modify then on the home tab click the bullets command click the drop down arrow then select bullets and numbering now a dialog box will appear and in the start at field enter the desired starting number so i want to start at three once you're done click ok and the list numbering will change as you can see now it's one two three four five now whether you're using a bulleted or numbered list you may want to change uh, its appearance by adjusting the size and color of the bullets or numbers now this can make your list stand out and match the appearance of your presentation so i'll select this bulleted list and work with it so first select the list that you want to modify then on the home tab the bullets command click the drop down arrow then go to bullets and numbering now a dialog box will appear this one and in the size field here you can set the bullet size so you can increase it if you want put mine at 70 then click the color drop down arrow over here and select a color so i'll go with uh, a pink yes then once you're done click ok and the list will be updated now you can see the new bullet size and color now you can customize your bullets by using symbols now if you want to use symbols as a bullet just select the existing list so i want to use symbols over here instead of bullets i'll select this list then on the home tab click the bullets drop down arrow then go to bullets and numbering again a dialog box will appear and on the bulleted tab click customize now the, the symbol dialog box will appear so from here you can select uh, the symbol that you want but you can click this drop down over here and select um, whichever font you want I'll go with the, let's see, yeah. You can select whichever font you want, then select the symbol you want to work with. So let's select this one, then click OK. Then click OK again, and as you can see, it will be updated in your list.